the last time we chatted, I was still fresh in this kind of world of influencer content creator where you don't know when you're next getting paid. And if you don't say yes to this gig, is there anything on the horizon? Even though this, the analytics are going up, are brands interested? Are they still going to remain interested? If you do one ad that doesn't go as well as you thought, are they going to come back? Um, and it's quite lonely. Like it's quite a lonely industry being a content creator. Like you're lucky because you've like you've now built this mega team around you. That now you don't have an office. Um, but I went to a panel the other day, and a lot of them were just like exactly the same as me. A lot of the time, we're just in our pajamas, sat at a desk thinking of ideas. And then when we have the idea, we go out, film it, and get back to our desk and edit. And it's not as glamorous as I think the traditional influencers make it look. Um, whether at parties, events, gifted, hashtag gifted, blah, 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 PR, PR. Um, I feel like you need to be quite selective over which ones you say yes to because you, well, personally for me anyway, some people love doing that, but um, I never wanted to be an influencer. Like I said, it was always a springboard to something else, but I've slowly fallen in love with this springboard that I've now created a bit of community around of just like a bunch of weirdos that appreciate me being a weirdo on my phone, uh, which I love. Um, so it's something I'll always do. And even if I become an actor, finally, um, <laughs> imagine, um, <laughs> yeah. oh. I will always make videos You'll be on studied. my phone. You'd be studied. I uh, know. Yeah. The, the, the acting school that you went to, you would be Here's a fantastic shining example yeah. of how you can pave your own way in this industry, all the while probably being told, there's only one way to pave your way in this industry. 100%. Sam. Yeah, 100%. And making silly videos on the internet isn't that, you fool. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And which is crazy because when you leave drama school as a student, everyone um, tells you, oh, if you get an agent, don't worry. Like, that's the doors unlocked. You'll be in a Marvel film. Like, in between is season two, that's coming out. Like, all these things that everyone's giving you these false promises. And then you leave drama school and everyone just goes and becomes a waiter and starts smoking and then tells customers they're an actor and you're like, but you're not, <laughs> you're a waiter. And that's me. that was me for like four years. I was just like clinically depressed, smoking loads and just going, I don't know when this door's opening, but my agent keeps telling me it's coming and it never came. Um, and I had the same agent for seven years and there was nothing against her. I think I just didn't give her the tools that she needed to open the doors. I didn't have, like I said, up to date headshots or a show reel. Um, and it's crazy the difference in uh, at, like opportunities that have come from social media and just mm. waiting from uh, being a drama school. 